I'm Sarah Reese from Polk County Public Health here to provide you with a COVID update. Over the last several weeks, it's been an exciting time in Polk County. Polk County Public Health, along with our healthcare partners and participating pharmacy providers, have been busy providing vaccine. We have currently provided 5,394 first doses and have also provided second doses for some individuals. We are excited about the ability to be able to provide vaccine and are hopeful as we move into the future and receive more vaccine. While we are providing COVID vaccine, we also continue to see updates in our COVID response. One of the frequently asked questions is, now that I'm fully vaccinated, what does that mean if I'm a close contact? If I'm a close contact and have had an exposure to someone with COVID-19, what does that mean for me if I've had both of my vaccinations in that two dose series that is currently available? And so excitingly, last week, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, sometimes called CDC, provided new guidance on that. And yesterday, February 16th, the Minnesota Department of Health updated their guidance as well. So let's take a look at that. Quarantining, so this is what we use for individuals who have a close contact with someone with positive lab confirmed COVID-19. Uh, quarantine after vaccination. And these are the criteria that would need to be met for someone to not have to quarantine. So that COVID-19 exposure would need to be at least 14 days after their vaccination series was fully completed. So you get shot one, you wait either 21 or 28 days, depending on the vaccine available, you get shot two, and then you wait the 14 day period. And so the exposure would have to happen at least 14 days after that second shot. The second criteria is it has to have been within 90 days of their final dose. So again, in my example, shot one, wait, shot two, and the exposure can be out for the next 90 days, and then the individual would not need to quarantine in that situation. It's important to mention the other criteria is that the individual would not be currently having symptoms. So if someone has had the vaccine, has had the full series of the vaccine, and is experiencing symptoms, COVID-like symptoms, then we would want them to quarantine. And it is important to mention that in the state of Minnesota, there is special guidance related to, to quarantine after vaccination that applies to healthcare and long-term care facilities for their staff and residents. And they've been instructed on the next steps for their particular situations. With all of this in mind, it's important to remember that even after a person has recovered from COVID-19 or if we're fully vaccinated, that we should continue to stay distance, to wear our masks, to wash our hands often, and certainly provide our, our families with the other precautions that we have been working so diligently towards the past year. Thank you.